Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Well, today we have a little bit news that may change the plan of uh, the tuning of the One Series a little bit. Uh, because uh, I got news, you know, I got two times bad news and then four times good news. I'll start with the bad news and that's about uh, the coolant. So I fired up my car this morning and then this happened. And for the people that don't speak Dutch, it means coolant level. There is not, uh, there is too little coolant, uh, you feel a little bit coolant. There is chance on engine damage. So yeah, not the, not really the, the the best notification to read while you start up your car. So I open up my engine bay as most people would do, just to see you know what's wrong, and just to see if the sensor is not faulty. You can clearly see that there is absolutely no oil, uh, no coolant. I mean in the. Uh, coolant reservoir only do this when the engine is cold by the way otherwise you'll get some nice burning marks um, but yeah let me open it up as you can see there's not that much coolant left uh, yeah and hooray not really that great but yeah it is what it is uh, and then a lot of you guys because I actually already posted it on Instagram have messaged me about some things that it can be um, or uh, or will be whatever but uh, the thing is uh, I don't see any of these leaks happen here so probably there's I know there's another leak possibility down there which I can't check here um, but really I mean it, it all seems pretty dry up here uh, so I really can't say what's happening and then some say maybe your head gasket went bad but I already tested that and it's not a head gasket because if you would do the ha have a head gasket problem then you know th there would be like a really weird sludge forming and this is just you know clean good oil so there is no coolant in the engine which is at least a good thing but yeah there there is somewhere going somewhere in this engine or you know the, the parts there is coolant leaking and I just can't seem to find it because I, I can't see anything I mean I can't see no coolant at all um, so yeah it's I'm gonna have to bring it to the garage and it will probably be a bill that I don't like but yeah also another thing that I found so that's really like uh, other bad news but I got that sorted out that piece is on its way it should arrive today basically so the guy can arrive any moment uh, but that is if you uh, pop off this one because I, I was talking about boost issues as you may or may not know and a lot of you guys checked hey uh, told me hey check the PC fever membrane and I was like okay uh, so I checked it and you guys are right mine is leaking so that's the membrane and here you underneath you can definitely see that there is oil forming and there shouldn't be any oil also this piece as you can see here is dirty and yeah there's a little bit of oil but there should only be air in there so uh, yeah we have a leaking PCV membrane and a coolant leak so yeah great so yeah guys, and you know, I, I'm not going to tune the car even further when this shit isn't sorted out. So we have a coolant leak and that needs to be fixed ASAP. And the PCV membrane will get fixed, uh, maybe even today because I have the membrane coming. Uh, it's also just possible that I will just, you know, drop the car to my garage today and then just fix that membrane when I have it back and then have a cool working car again. Uh, but yeah, that's the bad news. Uh, so really, the the, the yeah the mechanical state of the car ain't perfect at the moment. So uh, we we need to get that sorted out first, and that really you know sucks uh, because it's it's a bill, it's money that I can't use for tuning right now. So yeah, uh, really not not the best the best way. Also, uh, the good news then we have four modifications that I already paid for underway uh, and two of them should arrive today 
so one is a carbon fiber uh, steerer inlay uh, so instead of uh, a silver piece it will be carbon fiber um, then an Android head unit uh, but no more news on that later also uh, the blower valve which also should arrive today and then I made an appointment at MWorks well I you know I didn't make a specific date yet but I said like hey order me a boost pipe and a charge pipe and install it for me and they said okay we will but probably I will push that back like we you know by a week or something until the coolant leak is fixed hopefully you know my mechanic hand Hans um, can take care of that uh, so yeah we are going to drop the car off and then uh, hopefully he'll give me a call and tell me it's just a small stupid piece that's very easy and cheap to fix he can also give me a call that something very expensive is fucked and then yeah my wallet is fucked <laughs> So yeah, we'll see. Uh, I, I I don't hope it will be the latter one, but yeah, we'll see. Like I said, we'll see. Uh, and also, a, a little bit bad news is, you know, I, I talked about that I'm getting money back from the government because I pay too much taxes. So that's a great thing, right? I'm still getting that money, no problem. The only thing is, normally, uh, most people get that money around the end of December and the past three years I always got it at the end of December or beginning of January but now I got I just got a letter like a few days ago that I'm my that I'm getting my money only at the end of January or the beginning of February so one month later as planned and I was actually planning on doing the turbo and the stage 2 with that money but I wanted to do that in January but you know since the money got delayed and we got the extra cost of the coolant leak I really have to push back the stage 2 to February and I know I really know that really sucks because I first it was December not that was January for a while but now it should be February if nothing else blows I mean if I'm driving to my mechanic right now and one of the pistons you know ejects itself yeah then we're not gonna do a stage 2 tune then we're gonna do a new engine and selling the car and getting a 140i uh yeah but you know the thing is uh, some people say I, I got those messages you, know, you see when you tune a 149 you get shit like that but the thing is most of the things that break also break on stock n13 engines so it's really nothing due to tuning it's just using it's just bmw using poor materials uh, so yeah, that's the news on the car. So we are doing that great at the moment with the coolant leak and the PC rip PCV membrane. Um, but she will be back soon, and um, I will keep you guys updated uh, on the you know the new modifications which are incoming. Anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.